Are you done drinking, Dexter? I'm trying to record a video here, buddy. It's like when your kid starts crying as soon as you get on the phone or needing something from you. I think you got it all, buddy. Nope, he's gotta lick it a couple more times. All right. <laughs> I knew he was gonna spit that out. Oh my god. Okay, maybe it's never going to be quiet. I finally made it to Trader Joe's. I've been wanting to go for two whole months now, and to be honest, it's really easy to get to like any grocery store around here like we're close say close less than 30 minutes away from like every grocery store but we have not been able to make it over there because it's just not an area i frequent and so we finally did we had a doctor's appointment today i had to run a couple errands so we made it to trader joe's so i'm going to share with you what i picked up i got some new stuff some fall stuff some gluten-free stuff and some stuff just for the week i decided to do my whole grocery shop for the week at trader joe's so i would only have to go to one store so I'm gonna share with you what we picked up from Trader Joe's. Let's start with the frozen stuff. They did not have any green beans, um, which I do like getting their green beans, but they were all out. So, and they were picked through, I don't know, it was in that freezer section. All their cauliflower stuff was gone too. I don't know if like a free freezer broke or whatever, or they were just out. But anyway, picked up a couple bags of their roasted potatoes for some quick sides. We'd like having a starch with every meal, and this is just something that's easy to throw in the oven. Probably on a Thursday when I put something in the crock pot, and we can just have like an easy quick dinner. Also picked up this root vegetable medley. Um, again, just for like an easy side item. And then we always pick up some bronzino. We found this originally when we were in Daytona, Florida, and it's just so good with salt and pepper, lemon juice, and just an easy thing to throw in the freezer, and it thaws pretty quickly, and it's just quick and easy. I uh, have that with some potatoes and even some carrots, but I would probably do like potatoes and green beans or something. Carrots are more of like a starchy vegetable for me, so they would kind of replace the potato. And then back here, ow, that just drops on my toe. I really hope they did not crack. Okay, we're good. And back here we have some tater rounds. I've been looking for these at Aldi. These are like the little discs, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. These are like tater tots. Oh, these aren't even what I wanted. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Again, another little like starchy side. The girls will really like these. Um, I'm still looking like on a mission for the tater rounds. Aldi has them. They remind me of like the old Hardee's breakfast potatoes, but... Um, it's just like a different variety. It tastes the same. It's all going to be great. But anyway, I thought that's what that was. Oh, well. Some potato rounds, tater tots. And then this just dropped on my foot. Thank God it did not break. Um, but a couple gluten-free pie crusts. Are there two here? Yeah, okay. There are two pie crusts here. We still have a little bit of time before the holidays hit. But it's good to have this on hand, especially if you're looking for something gluten-free because... Um, when you are going the day before Thanksgiving trying to find your pumpkin pie shell Then you have to just settle for frishes and then it gives you an upset stomach because it's not crap you eat It does kind of suck. So thank God Chris saw this got it. We don't have to deal with that again this year And then back here we got some salmon. This is what we're gonna have tomorrow for dinner We're gonna have salmon with some leftover grits uh, Cheddar grits that I made a couple weeks ago that I froze and then I just made greens last night. We'll have that uh with the salmon as well and then picked up a pound of ground beef we're having burgers tonight with some fries and broccoli and then picked up these little miniature ice cream cones taylor loves getting the kit kat ice cream cones and we picked that up from sam's and peyton uh, wants to have anything and everything that we're eating but they are way too big for her to have so i thought next time we go to trader joe's we'll get these little miniature ones and i think that'll be perfect for her and she gets one treat a week She's only two. She does not need that much sugar. And so we'll give that to her as a special treat. And Sissy has to hide it when she's eating her treats or she'll just want them. And then for myself, I picked up just these almond butter cups. They have the sunflower butter and the almond butter. I chose the almond butter because it's actually less calories. And where I'm at in my cycle, I don't need the sunflower seeds right now. So that's what I'm doing. More sweets. Okay, we got a few sweets, I just realized. Um, chocolate chunk cookie dough cookies. These, I guess, are comparable to the Sweet Lauren's. And uh, they're gluten-free, so just to have those on hand for whenever we're feeling that sweet 
tooth kick in. And these are a surprise to find because I did not pick them up. Milk chocolate covered pretzels. I wish they were gluten free though and I wish they were dark chocolate because I used to be obsessed with the flips when I was younger. But since I am gluten free, I cannot eat those. And um, are these caramel? They also have caramel ones, I think. But these are the new milk chocolate. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on. These are the organic corn chips. We are having taco soup for dinner on Friday. I made taco soup yesterday with um, my fresh homemade broth. I made a bone broth, and then I just threw in leftover taco meat, a can of corn, a can of black beans, two cans of fire roasted tomatoes. And then I might serve it, well I was thinking about serving it with rice. I almost put the rice inside of it, but I did not do that. And then I thought, hey, how about some just like cheese on top with these like corn chips? And that'll be an easy dinner on Friday after the gym and after we pick up our Sam's Club grocery haul. And then what else do we have? So four cans of Heart of Palm. Taylor is basically obsessed with these. And when she was younger, she used to eat them like mozzarella sticks and she like peels them. But they're really great just as a snack, as a side, um, and really for salads. We're going to probably have to go back before Christmas or hoard one of these for my make-believe, um, not make-believe, what am I trying to say? my copycat um bonefish salad we like to have for christmas and then i had to get some seasonal items we saw these little bat puffs they are gluten free um if i want to have them as a little side for like a snacky lunch i will but mostly i got those for the girls thought so that would be fun and then picked up the gluten free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix um for exactly what it says we'll make some protein pumpkin muffins probably and I um, just love buying any of their seasonal gluten-free things I can find. Wish they had more gluten-free stuff, but that's okay. Also picked up their gluten-free pumpkin pancakes, again, to make some protein pancakes. And then another gluten-free item, not seasonal, but um, I like to get their chocolate chip brownie mix. And then picked up four cans of the organic pumpkin. I actually still have three cans in my pantry. I think three, two or three. But I use this not only for baking and for like around the holidays, but I also love it in curry. Or I'll even throw it in my chili to add some extra nutrition to it. Um, I picked up the butternut squash sauce, not soup. Last year I accidentally got soup and it stayed in my pantry for a good six or seven months i think um but i actually got the right stuff this time and i'm going to pair it with the gluten-free cheese ravioli um i wish they would have the pumpkin ravioli and gluten-free maybe they do maybe they were out i'm not sure but i figured we'll just pick up two this would be two different sides um or like two different meals because we'll use half a jar and one of the packages and we'll just do that twice and with these i like to get the um chicken meatballs from Sam's and pair that with it and then serve it with like probably green beans or broccoli on the side. Maybe a salad if we feel like making a salad. Um, also picked up just some bananas. We eat bananas every single day. A couple of pounds of strawberries to go with um, yogurt bowls mostly and then just like sides for breakfast. And this is Taylor's favorite thing to get from Trader Joe's, sour cream and onion puffs. Peyton also loves them. And then I'm making some egg bites this week, and so I needed some cottage cheese, so I just got that from Trader Joe's. Also picked up light cream cheese. I made 30 miniature bagels yesterday, and so that will be good for that. Although Taylor picked up these Laughing Cow cheese wedges, so she said she's going to have that with her bagel, which is fine. And then on Sunday, I am going to a seminar to learn um, neural mobilization for your upper arm. And I've not been to a webinar, or it's not a webinar. See, I call it a webinar because I'm used to doing webinars, but I haven't been to a live seminar in like four or five years. And so I'm super excited, but I'm gonna bring my lunch. This only has like 18 grams of protein. And so um, I'm gonna bring like a protein shake with me as well to make sure I still get all my protein in that day. But I'm really excited for that. The last thing I got is just some Airborne. This was actually a dollar cheaper than at Kroger. But Kroger has the raspberry flavor. Um, I'm dealing with my allergies right now. And what I do at the very inkling, I, my throat starts itching. Anything happens, I immediately start taking Thieves, which is just like three drops of Thieves into a shot glass of water. Do that two or three times a day. And then I'll take these two or three times a day. And for the most part, it keeps it at bay. I'm still coughing and sneezing right now. 
but um, it would be way worse if I wasn't doing anything. But anyway, that is everything I picked up from Trader Joe's. Thanks for hanging out with me and letting me share with you what I picked up from Trader Joe's. Were you able to find all of your favorite things? Let me know what your favorite thing is to get seasonally. And if you are interested in getting those little snowman um, hot cocoa things, I've never been able to get them each year. So if you have any tricks or tips on how to get one of those this year before they sell out, let me know. But hope you have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.